Welcome to 2016 SHOT Show coverage by Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. Want to know what to look for in the world of air guns for this year? Well, we've traveled to Las Vegas to meet with vendors and manufacturers to bring you some of the best of the best of what's new. Airgun Web TV, where we're going to test them, we're going to shoot them, and we're going to tell you all about them. It really is a great time to be an air gunner. Hello, everybody. This is Rick Utzler with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. We're here at SHOT Show 2016 in Las Vegas, and I'm here to talk to Chip about something you may not have thought of for your air gun. It's the Excite 2. Now this thing's bad to the bone. It records video right on the right on the scope, right? Right to an SD card. All right, so why don't you tell me what you got going on here? Because this thing literally blew my mind. <laughs> so the Excite 1 was the very first um, scope, digital scope that we had as part of the Smart HD family. New for 2016 is the Excite 2, uh, beefed up basically, right? right? Uh, same price point. So okay. you've got the two models, the 3 to 14 and the 5 to 20. Uh, one's 599, the other one's 699. Now, to me, that seems very reasonable for what you're getting. So tell me, how does this work? What kind of features do you have here? So right now, we've got the scope hooked up uh, through the HDMI output Okay. Um, for demonstration purposes. Okay. Uh, but normally, I mean, you'd be recording full HD 1080p video right to an SD card All right. uh, that you would put into the side of the scope. Okay. And then recording videos is as simple as pushing just that right button. And it Start just does it. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have, I mean, you've got different reticles, you've got a bunch of information up there on the screen. Yeah. How does some of this work? Okay, so there's a lot of features in this. Oh, all in, right, in this we'll scope. break it down some of the simple things. Okay. So. Okay, let here do this. As an air gunner, you want to be able to have mil dot, a range estimation, or some sort of ballistic range estimation. So okay. right there, that would be great if you're shooting at 40 yards, at a known distance all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. If we're gonna hunt with this, how would we change that? So you mentioned like range finding? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a feature called the smart range finder. Okay. And basically, if you know the height of your object, okay. you know, for instance, deer, bear, wolf, okay. whatever, we'd, let's say we, we, you know, we're gonna try to range a deer. Okay. So basically, you would take the top measurement, right? And then you would take the bottom measurement See the top left up there? Right, right, right. There's your range. Okay. It's that wow. simple. So do you have like, because I want to use this for shoot hunting coyote. So yeah. you can just top, bottom, range it? Yep. Okay, that's cool. That's one of the new features for 2016. Okay. Also, we've got the recoil activated video feature, the, okay. the RAV feature, okay. which basically senses the recoil of the gun. And since the scope is always buffering, it'll take the previous 10 seconds and then the 20 seconds after your shot. How sensitive is that recoil? Because some of our air guns have very, very, very little recoil. Yeah. So we've tested on a 22, which okay. is fine. Okay. All right. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. On the big boards, you won't have any problem. But... <laughs> All right. I'm excited. Keep going. Um, also, we you mentioned ballistic uh, right. calculations. So we've got a ballistic calculator in there. Okay. So, you know, going back, oops, let's get out of here. So going back into that menu. We've got the distance, right? Once you in, input a few things in the environment menu, okay. the scope will basically adjust your point of impact based on the environmental really? factors that you okay. input. Now, do, would I put in like the uh, uh, ballistic coefficient of, a, of my projectile and Correct. like the velocity would right. be one of the things? You do need to manually input a few factors. That's fine, as long as I have my feet per second mm -hmm. and my ballistic coefficient and my weight, it should be able to calculate that because I don't know that you guys have like the JSB 15.89 doing 800 feet per second. Yeah. You may, but I have that data. And as long as I can plug that in, there is the manual option. Right? right. Cool. Right. All right. And let's not forget about the Wi-Fi feature. Okay. Right? We have the AT and Obsidian app, which is uh, available on the Android app store or the iOS store. Okay. Um, and then basically you can stream what the scope sees directly to the app. All right. Cool. And you can you know, control. Can you manipulate the, the scope from the app? Right. It's kind of like a little oh, remote very, control very cool. as well. So yeah. you go like this, pop it in. I'm sitting in my blind, mm -hmm. set up my settings, and I'm good to go. And you can even zoom in on the viewfinder and just watch everything from your tablet Sweet. or phone. Okay. Battery life. Because I know you've got a little pack here. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? If I'm going on a hunt, like an eight-hour all-day hunt, what can I expect to get out of the out of the product? So again, new for 2016 is the battery pack kit. Okay. Before we have, um, we recommended four AA lithium batteries, which will give you about eight to 10 hours of runtime. Okay. If you're in a field, you might want 
you know, more time than more. that. So we've got the battery pack kit, which comes with the uh, the uh, the buttstock pouch, uh, the the cable, and then of course the sixteen thousand milliamp okay. battery pack. That's a lot. Which will give you about twenty hours of runtime. Goodness. Okay. And you can even charge your phone in the field if you want to. Right. Right. Those those I've <laughs> seen those little packs becoming more and more available. Yeah. Is that just a USB connection or is it a proprietary connection? Oh, it's USB. Yeah. All right. So if we had a bigger pack, or it's, doesn't matter what pack you use, yeah, just exactly. a sweet. Yeah. Okay. Outstanding. Yeah. I want you to show me how to change that reticle though. Okay. You gotta show me how to <laughs> Everyone get likes away the from the dot and show me something that I Okay. That as an air gunner is gonna resonate with me here. All right. So we go into settings okay. basically. You go to your display and then down to reticle style. Now you can choose a shape here or okay. you can choose a color. All so right. we'll go to the shape menu and uh, right now we've got seven so different got types. Something like this one right here. Yep. This is the popular duplex. Okay. Uh, we've got a post. Here's our, our new crossbow reticle. Okay. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Well, let's put it on this one over here. Alrighty. And then let's change the color also. Why don't you choose, you know. Uh, green. I like nice bright green. Alrighty. There we go. So as you Perfect. can see, it's pretty easy. Perfect. <laughs> now I saw night vision up there. Does this do night vision too? Of course. Yeah. We're known for night vision. Of course, Sweet. we had to put it into our new daytime scope. Okay. So this will do both. This will do both. This is your 24 seven scope. Oh man. Right. And it comes with the infrared illuminator. Okay. So everything under that same price tag. Wow. I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm impressed. And I'm not just BSing here. This is, this gets me very excited because it solves a problem that I've been trying to solve for several years. Yeah. And to see all this sort of crammed into one little package, how heavy is it? Um, you know, it's a little more substantial than your normal daytime sure, scope. Sure, sure. But you know, it's, it's also got an integrated rail, uh, a Picatinny mount. So okay. you got to factor that in as well. Cool. Well, man, thank you so much for showing us this today. My pleasure, Greg. You guys looking for this product, it's available. Well, this number two is going to be out when? Um, February, March. Okay, so right around the corner. Right around the corner. This is going to be available. My name is Rick with Airgun Web at Airgun Web TV. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Airgun Web TV. Stay tuned as we launch into a brand new year of product reviews, hunting tips, and maybe even a few surprises along the way. Airgun Web TV, where we're going to test them, we're going to shoot them, and we're going to tell you all about them. It really is a great time to be an air gunner.